up and coming pro wrestler, right? Give a big Happy America! God damn America! I was over here, it's 4th of July. Uh, to celebrate, I bought a ton of fireworks. Just didn't feel like enough though, so I said put it all on my tab, because there is nothing more American than knowing the Chinese money. <laughs> Happy America! <laughs> oh man. Let me just uh, check out my shitty handwriting, everybody. Um, Every, every, uh, actually, there's little known fact in uh, China, they have their own holiday, and it's called Don't Bring Your Kid to Work Day. <laughs> <laughs> Happy America! <laughs> I started school this week, and I think uh, if you go summer quarter, I think the first day of uh, class, the teacher should always say, You live in Bellingham, Washington. Every year you get two weeks of summer, and you just wasted it, so you fail. Congratulations. <laughs> No, you just failed in life. Like, that was a bad idea. Um, I go to Walker Community College, home of the Orcas. <laughs> That's great, because I'm going to rip on it for like five minutes. Um, I feel like the Orca is an appropriate mascot, because it's the only animal that can commit suicide by beaching itself. And that's how I feel when I'm at Walker. <laughs> Okay, uh, one thing, I, I feel like you cannot call Walker Community College an institution of higher learning unless, unless you say it's because everybody there is stoned out of their mind. <laughs> if you show up to a pottery class on any given day, you'll just find a room full of very confused potheads. <laughs> What I really don't understand though is uh, there's like a group of girls that dress up like business Barbie and they're just, every day it's the same group of girls who are dressed up like they're going in for a job interview. Somebody, somebody knows. And um, I just don't get it. It'd be like if I went into math class every day in like a full suit tie and like a briefcase, you know, like let's do some math, crunch some numbers. Um, <laughs> I know, I think they're trying to look, you know, like mature and official, you know, and like, it, the thing is that they just end up looking like they're the secretaries from like a porn movie, you know? I don't know where they're getting their information, but like, stripper heels and cleavage doesn't count as business casual. <laughs> Apparently somebody didn't tell them that you have to wait until after college before you can sleep with somebody to get a job. <laughs> So, and I think girls are growing up too fast these days, you know, like I think they're just maturing way too quickly. Sometimes you have to just slow down and smell the roses, you know, like you only have so many precious years where you can dress like a slutty schoolgirl and get away with it before it starts being, you know, really creepy. And you can take that from me because I know it from experience. <laughs> Speaking of me cross-dressing, Bellingham's Gay Pride Week is coming up. I consider myself very straight, but very supportive. And, um... I don't, I don't really like talking about, you know, this stuff, because I'm not super, like, informed when it comes to politics or anything like that. But I do have a microphone, and that makes me an expert. So, so stay with me here. Um, Anderson Cooper just came out. And so the Silver Fox is back on the home team, so suck on that, women. <laughs> you can blame that on Ellen DeGeneres for taking Portia to Rossi. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about the law getting passed, though, for uh, gay marriage, because if it wasn't for single gay men, I would never get hit on. <laughs> You know, gay people are being treated like second-class citizens, and that's not fair, but my self-esteem really needs this. Um, and here's why. Um, so, um, the one thing I really hate 
debate about the law against gay marriage is the fact that it's like the one law you can't just say fuck it and do it anyway. Like, you know, if you have if, if illegal, it's illegal to smoke marijuana. Like, hey, it's medicinal, man. I have to smoke it because sometimes I'm not high. <laughs> Try to solicit sex from teenagers, but didn't stop Sandusky, you know? <laughs> but it's all of a sudden. Sudden, you know, it's like, um, well, but you're two dudes. Well, you can't get married, and there's and there's nothing that you can do about it. You know, I don't, I don't, I just don't think that's cool. There's no, there's no joke there. It's just, <laughs> it's just, it's just uh, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie actually, the reason they're not married yet, they say, is because they're waiting for uh, gay marriage to be legalized. And it's cool, like it's a good sentiment, I guess, and everything. But I, I just don't think that would ever be. What sways people's minds? You know, what is that? What is anybody gonna be like? Well, I mean, gay marriage is against my religious beliefs, but Mr. and Mrs. Smith was a good movie. <laughs> If you can take like anything from what I've said here today, is that I think we should all just, you know, come together, do the right thing, promote equality, and ban heterosexual marriage. <laughs> I hope you all have a great night. I'm Jack Stewart. I love you all. No homo, no hetero.